when you think of dolls and puppets in horror movies, the first thought would be Chucky, right? <laughs> Billy, the jigsaw puppet. Congratulations, you are still alive. Most people are so ungrateful to be alive. Maybe Dario Argento's Deep Red, the doll with the evil smile charging it. <laughs> I had heard this had inspired James Wan and Lee Wanell to make Saw. This was different, and this is one of those that just slipped away from me. Given the subject matter, the cast, the crew, I should have watched this years ago. It feels like something I should just have gotten out of my system. So here goes. Richard Attenborough's Magic. Now, from what I understand, Anthony Hopkins starts off as a magician's assistant, but fails. And then he tries ventriloquism, and that starts to catch on. His puppet, Fats, unusual name, has a bit of a salty vocabulary. Years pass, the stock rises, and just on the cusp of superstardom, Hopkins suffers a kind of anxiety attack and goes into hiding. Fats, on the other hand, has conscience, but not in the same way as Chucky. My mind is placing this like the South Park episode when Cartman draws Jennifer Lopez on his hand. But Hopkins has a mental disorder which is manifesting in Fats. Hey, how's this for a solution? You stay around here and time hayseed, and I'll head back to Manhattan. I take it the silence means no. Discussion's over, that's all. Come on out of here! Simmer the hell down! This feels like something that should be talked about a lot more, given the talent involved. You've got Anthony Hopkins, Academy Award winner, this is him over a decade before he was Hannibal Lecter. Anne Margaret, a very popular star. Burgess Meredith, a bona fide legend. William Goldman, the author of The Princess Bride. And of course, the actor, Oscar winning director of Gandhi, Lord Dickie Attenborough, who a lot of you will remember him playing John Hammond in Jurassic Park. Now after he had just done A Bridge Too Far, this feels unusual to be his next project, right? Now I like ventriloquism. Nina Conti to Jeff Denham, a rather advanced form of stand-up that will never go stale. Bitch mother, come light my bottom. <laughs> 